Japan assured its support for efforts to ratify the creation of a Bangsamoro region in a plebiscite in January next year, which will end more than 50 years of fighting by the main Moro rebel force in the southern Philippines. In the forum on the Bangsamoro held at the Chaika office in Makati, Haneda said Japan is considering support for the plebiscite on the Bangsamoro Organic Law to be held on January 21. The formation of the Bangsamoro Transition Authority and the normalization process including the decommissioning of arms held by the guerrillas of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front or MILF. Japan is considering to modify its existing support to the armed government so that it would fit well with the new BTA. The official did not elaborate on Japan's possible involvement in the plebiscite and how it would modify its support for the Bangsamoro region if it wins approval in the plebiscite and replaces the current autonomous region for Muslim Mindanao. JICA senior representative Yo Ibisawa in an interview at the sidelines of the forum said the Commission on Elections was asking the donor communities to monitor the plebiscite and Japan could support the monitoring activities during the January exercise. MILF Chairman al Haj Murad Ebrahim in a speech read by Edward Guerra, chair of the MILF Coordinating Committee on the Cessation of Hostilities, said that the rebel group has been discussing extensively with donor agencies such as JICA, areas of cooperation. Among the strategic infrastructures we have discussed are the peace bridges in the western side of the city that will link Cotabato City to both Dato Udin Siswat and Sultan Kudarat, and the coastal road that will link it to the Puglio. Also, this circumferential road around the Liguasan Mars. Ebisawa said there was no actual commitment yet regarding the strategic infrastructure projects. But he said JICA dispatched an infrastructure survey team last week to determine where the agency could focus its assistance. Japan is considering to expand its involvement in this increasingly important area, drawing on our experience of existing assistance for livelihood improvement and provisions of social infrastructure in the region. The Japanese envoy said that he is set to go to Cotabato this week for the contract signing ceremony for Japanese grants in areas of education, social welfare, and grassroots security. Meanwhile, Murad also said that they have asked the United Nations Development Program to facilitate the exchanges between the MILF combatants and former rebels from ASEA in Indonesia. He said this is part of the MILF effort to transition from a rebel organization into a social movement and a political party. In the course of these exchanges, we have asked the UNDP to look into the possibility of replicating replicating the school of peace and democracy in Aceh and for us to set up an institute for peace and democracy that will initially cater to the needs of our combatants for specific training on transitioning from combatants to democracy workers. Japan has extended $260 million worth of assistance to the Bangsamora region through the Japan Bangsamora Initiative for Reconstruction and Development, or JBIRD, since 2006.